Thanks, guys. Standing here with the Chief, David Njoku. And Chief, today, it's day two of training camp. How does it feel to kind of be out there, get back in the mix, and knowing when you wake up tomorrow, the pads come on, <laughs> and as they say, it gets real. Yep, it's a great feeling, man. It's great to be back with my uh, fam here, football fam. You know, we're, we're working really hard, you know, really focused, so we're really excited for this year. What have you thought so far of the offense? And obviously, two days into camp, no pads, but at times this defense, by the way, Freddie Kitchens will tell you, it's darn talented, has been pretty good, but what have you, have you guys kind of acclimated to the new system here with Monken and Freddie Kitchens putting it all together? Pretty well. You know, we're all putting things together, you know, seeing what uh, strengths we have here and there, and, and it, we're looking pretty good. You know, there's a lot of work to be done, but we're looking pretty good so far. The seven-on-seven seven period was really a good one for the offense. At one point, you guys ripped off four straight touchdowns through the air with the ones, two of which went to you to kind of kick that off. How good did it feel to kind of get in there, make those plays? Felt oh, great, you know. Uh, obviously, we're trying to do that a lot during this, this uh, season, so, you know, it felt good to get, get this started, and hopefully we just keep uh, building off of that. It seems like this offense today, especially in the red zone, a lot of empty sets where they're trying to create mismatches for you guys. Is that something you expect to see a lot more of in the future? I would hope so. <laughs> I would you, hope so, yes. You enjoyed that when you yeah. scored twice. All right, let's go to the what I would call the biggest play of practice. Freddie says, well, no, 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 we've got one more play, mm -hmm. offense versus defense from the five. Winner celebrates, loser runs a gasser. What did you see pre-snap on that one? Just saw the coverage. You know, uh, if I had like a like a post route and I saw the coverage and I, just, I understood what we had to do. So I, I got the uh, proper leverage, got open, Baker threw a great ball, and, and uh, the rest is history. It was good coverage on there, but nonetheless, you came up with it, that touchdown. I'm sure everybody was pretty happy and thankful on offense that they did not have to be the ones running. Yeah, it was, it was exciting for us. Not so much of a defense, but for us it was very exciting. Now the pads come on. How different is it? It's going to be very different. You know, we're going to see where, 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 where we are, you know, uh, tomorrow and where we stand. And we got to build off, just keep working, you know, each and every day. And we should be okay. When you think about kind of your goals for this season, there are a lot of expectations around this football team. You know the talent that's with you on offense. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for you. We saw that today in the red zone. You had three touchdowns in the red zone periods today. How excited are you? And what are your expectations for yourself here in year three? I'm very excited. I'm, uh, I'm excited for myself, but most importantly, I'm excited for the whole tight end group and the whole offense, honestly. You know, we have just such great talent on offense. And I'm not even talking about defense, I'm talking about offense. You know, defense is a, other, a whole other demon. But on offense, we have just such great talent that, you know, just has to be used. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it, it'd be stupid for us not to use our, ta our, our talented players, you know, in, in certain times. So uh, we're, I'm really excited to see how everything progresses and go up there. When you think about it, you talk about this defense, and it is talented. Nobody would know that what's the, the changes in the defense, personnel scheme, et cetera, better than somebody going against them every day. What have you kind of seen from this defense that, frankly, it, they look pretty good? I mean, just like the, the front four, you know, you have Miles Garrett, Sheldon Richardson, Larry Ogunjobi, and Olivier Vernon. You know, just, just the, the, the front four is just dangerous, you know, and I'm not even talking about the DBs or linebackers, you know. We're very talented in all our positions, but just like the front four is just so, like, you know, monstrous that, you know, it, it's hard for – Offenses, offenses to do anything, you know, with, with them, you know, humming, you know, <laughs> coming after the quarterback. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how, how, how they grow together as well. Yeah, when you can generate pressure with fours, you know, it makes you got seven people in coverage. It makes it a lot tougher for an offense. Oh, yeah. Hey, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 they're going to be ready. I, I truly believe so. So you've been kind of, when we've, I've been noticing, Olivier Vernon's been kind of going to the strong side of the formation, which would be your side right. of the formation you've been going against. What are your initial impressions yeah, of going that's against that's OV? That's one strong mofo right there. He's strong. <laughs> you know, he's a very smart player, a uh, little older, you know, veteran. So obviously he's, he's a lot smarter than, you know, how he was when he first got into the league. But, uh, you know, definitely a smart player. He knows, like, he knows he can read things very quickly. So you got to have to, like, you know, jump on him before he starts, you know, seeing what, what's going on. I remember talking to you as you entered year two and you said you felt so much more prepared, so much more confident. You knew the game a little bit better, obviously, coming in the NFL. Baker now in year two. What differences do you see in him? You know, it's his team. It's unquestioned. He's the guy, and here he is leading you. Yeah, he just, you know, like I said, he just feels so much more comfortable, you know, being being where he's at, you know, you know, ordering, like, people to do, to do certain things. You know, it's just, it, the comfort is there, and it's something that we need. I'm glad that he has that, you know. So it's easier for him to, you know, lead us into what we want to do. When you have a guy like Odell Beckham taking a, few, a little bit of coverage every now and then, do you kind of go tonight thinking about, I'm going to have these wide open yeah. lanes down the seam sometimes, baby? Yeah, he's a beast, you know, along with Jarvis. Uh, both of them boys, you know, they're, they're really talented. You know, I, I, I love watching film of myself, but most importantly, I also sometimes watch them, you know, to see how they run certain routes. 
you know, because uh, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's there for all of us, and, and they're great leaders, great teachers, so we, we definitely need to use that more often. When you were at the U, you guys always had expectations, right? It's the U. Come to the Browns. We know what it was like for your first year, second year you guys pick it up. This is the first year you guys are coming into a season like with expectations. It would be at a place like the U and some of that swagger. Is this a much more natural kind of environment and feeling for you? Um, I mean, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot more fun than how it was when I first got here in Cleveland. You know, obviously we went through some turmoil, but, uh, you know, now it's, you know, it's a lot more fun. You know, the fans go crazy. You know, we, we feed off of that. We love the excitement, and it pushes us to work that much harder during camp. So it's, it's, it's really fun for us. All right. We appreciate the time. Go get ready. I know the pants come on tomorrow, so it's going to be cracking out here. It's going to be a fun time. I promise you that.